Finally, I'll leave you with some suggested tools and website links where you can continue your education about solar electricity as you prepare to tackle your own projects. And it seems counterintuitive, but unless a grid-tied system also has batteries, it can't produce any energy if there's a power outage. Then the cell does nothing. Once the cell is part of a circuit, and that circuit is closed, voila! The current can flow. We have electricity to do work. We leave the measurement of quantity to the odometer, the mileage counter. Similarly, in electrical systems, we use the watt-hour to measure quantities of energy. By mathematically gathering all the incoming energy under the daily insulation curve into neat time blocks, like this. So now we can just use their data. Similarly, we can balance production for summertime by lowering the tilt angle by the same 15 degrees. That's topped by a semi-reflective plastic dome. The kit is supplied with paper templates calibrated for ranges of latitude. The templates help you calculate the monthly or annual potential insulation at your site. If you have a grid-tied system without battery backup, the charge controller and batteries would not be needed. The solar modules would feed the grid-tied inverter directly. There are many types and sizes on the market because there are many different kinds of applications and prevailing site conditions. Each module type has its specific strengths and weaknesses. Most mounting racks are composed of high-strength extruded aluminum with some galvanized or stainless steel fittings and hardware. The next component on the hit parade is the charge controller. You'll only need a charge controller if your system requires batteries. These inverters must be designed to shut down whenever the utility grid goes down, as during a power outage. That's to prevent you frying utility workers who might be out on the grid working on the power line. 2,500 watt hours divided by 2.8 sun hours yields 893 watts array size. Now we derate our PV modules, and that gives us an adjusted array size of 1,000. We'll continue to bring this figure down. Eight to ten dollars per installed rated watt is still a pretty good estimator. Add up your annual consumption from your electric bills. Figure out your daily average consumption. Decide on your goal as a percentage of your loads. Derate the modules. If you don't plan on installing your system yourself, find an installer you can work with. The North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners has emerged as the highest standard for renewable energy system installers.